Hi guys, this is Zaza and I'm back with another video. Today we are going to learn some vocabularies related to bank and post office. So open your book, I mean Oxford Word Skill basic book, unit 59 and watch this video. Unit 59, I can use the bank and post office. The first part of this unit is about at the bank. We can see a box here with three parts, like questions, answers, and meaning. Look at the first one. Can I use this card in this cash machine? Can I use this card in this cash machine? The answer. If it's a Visa card, yes. Cash machine means ATM. ATM. Second one. Where can I change dollars into euros? Where can I change dollars into euros? Answer, in a bank, a hotel, or bureau the change. Change means give someone dollars and get the same in euros. Like change the money. You give dollars and you receive euros. You give dollars, you receive lire. Next one, is there a bureau the change near here? Yes. There is one at the station. We have the change is an office where you can change money. Next one, which currency do I need for Argentina? Which currency do I need for Argentina? You need pesos. Currency means the money that a country uses. For example, dollars in the United States. Next one, I've got Japanese yen. What's the exchange rate for the euros? What's the exchange rate for the euros? It's 142 yen to the euros. Exchange rate means how much money from one country you can buy with money from another country. And the next one, where do I sign this? Where do I sign this? Just here. You can see the picture of signing and the meaning part. And the last one, what commission do you charge? What commission do you charge? We charge 1%. Commission means the money you pay a bank, for example, for changing currency. And charge means ask someone to pay a certain price for something. Let's work on the vocabularies again. Cash machine, change into, bureau the change, currency, exchange, sign, commission commission and charge so we have some exercises let's do them together number one match one to five with a to f to make questions like where can i change my euros goes to f into dollars you have one minute to think about them Number one, what currency do I need goes to A for Brazil? What commission goes to C do you charge? Can I use this card goes to D in this cash machine? What's the exchange rate goes to B for this peso? And the last one, is there a bureau the change goes to E in the station? We have another exercise, number two, complete the sentences. We have six sentences, you need to fill the blanks for each one with the vocabularies that we learned in this part. For example, the banks charge 1.5% commission. You have one minute to fill the blanks.
Number one, sign the check at the bottom. Two, change dollars into euros. Three, the currency in China is the yuan. Four, what's the exchange rate? Five, you pay one person in the bank, and the last one, you get money from a cash machine. We have another exercise in this part about you and your country. Write your answers or ask another student. You can answer this question based on your information or you can ask them of another person. Like, what's the currency in your country? Do you know the exchange rate for the US dollar? When you travel, where do you get or change money? Do you use a cash machine to get your own currency? Where do you find cash machines in your country? You have one minute to think about them or answer them. Well, because your answers are different, we don't check them. This unit has another part, part B, which is about at the post office. We have some pictures here and you can see some new vocabularies. Let's read them. You want to send a letter to a friend. You write a name, address and postcode on the envelope. You put a stamp on it. You post it in the letter box or post box. The postman or postwoman delivers it in the next day or two. We have some new vocabularies in the first part like address, postcode, envelope, stamp, post, letter box, post box, postman, postwoman, and deliver. Number two, you want to send a parcel to Germany. You take it to the post office. How much is this parcel to Germany, please? Put it on the scale, please. 350 grams. That's $3.43. That's fine. And can I have two stamps for postcards to Germany? We have some new vocabularies in part two, like post office. Parcel, parcel, scale, scale, postcard, postcard. Now, we have some exercises. Let's check them together. Number four, answer the questions. Choose answers from the box. We have a box here, green box, as you can see. We need to find the answers in this box for the questions. Like, where do you post letters? In a post box. Or in a leather box. You have one minute. One, what do postmen do? Deliver the letter. Two, two, what do you write on an envelope? The name, address, and postcode. Three, where do you take a parcel to the post office? Four, where do you put the parcel and the scale? Five, what do you put on an envelope or parcel? Is stamp. And six, who takes parcel to people's home? The postman. And the last one, which three things can you send? A letter, a parcel, a postcard. We have another exercise, number five. Use the words to make questions. You need to add one more word. You have some letters here or some words here. You need to put them in order to make a question. Like, how much is this parcel to Japan, please? So you have about one minute.
Number one, is there a leather box near here? Two, can you put it on the scale? Three, can I have three stamps for Argentina? Four, where can I or where do I post this leather? How much is the postcard to Russia? Can you buy envelopes at the post office? And the last exercise, test yourself. Look at the pictures and cover the text. Can you remember the sentences? In part A, we had some sentences. You need to cover them and by looking at the picture, come with the sentences with the vocabularies that you learned in this part. So you have about one minute. That's it, this is the end of the unit. If you go to a bank or post office, you don't have any problems anymore. But if you have any questions of units, you can ask me in common part. See you soon.